Welcome to Total War Saga Troy. So you've decided this whole battle thing is beneath you and you want to dominate the Aegean by becoming a trading powerhouse. Well, you've come to the right video. Before the idea of standardized currency, there was only bartering. We wanted to replicate this in game. Basically, I'm saying trade and how to trade is something you need to know about. To begin with, you will need something to trade. The most common is raw resources. If you want to know how to gather resources, check out our other video on gathering all the resources you will ever need. When trading, a good place to start is to look for what you have and what you want and find someone that has what you want and needs what you have. You can easily identify what factions want by the color of the resources in their table. Green means they want it and red means they're not interested. There are two types of barter, a single barter and a continuous barter. A single barter is used to gain a lump sum of resources that are yours as soon as the deal is done. You may want to use this if you need a little extra to build something or to keep your economy afloat for another turn. A continuous barter is a long-term agreement that can last from 5 to 10 turns. These agreements are normally more profitable than single barters. You may want to consider setting up a few of these long-term agreements to help you prop up your economy or gain the resources you don't have direct access to. Use the resource breakdown menu at the bottom of the screen to check your incoming and outgoings. The last thing you want is to be stuck in a long-term agreement, leaving only a trickle of resources for yourself. Trading high-value resources like bronze and gold to get a good deal, especially in the early game, may not be the best idea. These resources are acquired very slowly and in the case of gold, is limited. You may not need them now, but you could hinder your progression going into the mid-game when you want to train those elite units or build that higher tier building. The act of trading is very simple. I normally start by asking for what I want. This will give you a number in the bottom middle. A negative number means the other party won't go for the trade and a positive number means they're happy. And then I'll barter my own resources until the number is green, paying attention to what the other party wants most. The value of different resources will alter slightly if the other party really needs a certain resource. You can use this to your benefit by being able to trade less and gain more. You could overpay and bring that positive number up. This will make the other faction think well of you and improve your relationship. Sometimes building a friendship is better than making the best deal. As you play the game, your actions will affect how other factions see you. Are you trustworthy or not? Being untrustworthy will have a negative impact on the deals you can make, meaning you will have to dish out more to make the trade work. Your reliability is affected by things like attacking your allies or breaking treaties. Your reliability will increase over time. So if you want to do a deal with another faction, it may be best to wait a few turns, if you can, so you don't have to pay over the odds. The last thing to mention about trade is the ability to trade regions. These are very high value trades and will require you to offer up one of your regions or a lot of resources. Trading regions can be a great way to carry favour with another faction or gain that last region in the area to complete your rule over an entire province without having to go to war. If you feel like you can't be bothered with the fine details of finding the right amount of resources or you just really want that region, you could always issue an ultimatum. But use caution and make sure you have the stones to back up your threat. If you aren't strong enough, the other party will refuse and you'll become at war with the other faction. Without trade, you will have a hard time playing Troy. A good trade deal can always help keep you in front of your enemies.